As soon as you start using a blockchain, you're gonna come across links like these. Often they pop up when you make a transaction and they link to a complex page like this that's called a block explorer. Now this app is loaded with very, very valuable information that I'm gonna teach you how to extract. Welcome in guys, I'm David here from cryptotutorials.org and today I'm gonna teach you how to read a block explorer. That way you can track the movement of money on any blockchain. This can be very, very useful and profitable information, but it is definitely not financial advice. It's just for education and entertainment. Okay, so what exactly is a block explorer? It's like a search engine that only searches one specific blockchain. So if you want data from the Ethereum chain, you're gonna use Etherscan. For Polygon, it's called Polygon Scan, and SoulScan for Solana. Now these are privately made apps, so often a blockchain will actually have more than one. These apps show you when new blocks are minted and give you information on each transaction minted within a block. You're also gonna find specialized information depending on which chain you look at. For example, on Etherscan, you can see gas prices, SoulScan shows you the speed of the blockchain in transactions per second and the speed of an individual transaction in ping time. One of the most common uses of a block explorer is to confirm a transaction. Now, depending on what network you're on, it could take five or 10 minutes to confirm that that transaction went through. And often this leaves newcomers to the chain freaking out, wondering if they just lost their investment. This is where the block explorer comes in really handy. By simply entering the confirmation number, you can look it up and see any time what the status of that transaction is. Whenever you wanna confirm that that transaction is official, this is where you go to look. Another very useful service provided by Block Explorers is the ability to validate tokens, wallets, or smart contracts. When I add a new token to my wallet, I always check to make sure that the token's contract address is the right one and that I'm on the right network. Often people get scared when it looks like a token is gone from their wallet. In reality, they haven't added the proper information to their wallet so that it can see that token. And this is done by pulling that token's information from the right block explorer, then entering it into your wallet. If you wanna learn the basics of setting up a wallet, as well as the best practices for wallet security, you're gonna to wanna to click the link up here. Now, I rarely buy brand new tokens anymore, but when I do, I like to have their contract scanned. By taking the contract address off the Block Explorer and entering it into Token Sniffer, I can quickly see if it might be a scam or have a broken contract. Since all transactions on the blockchain are public, you can use a Block Explorer to see all addresses that hold the token and how much, or the addresses that hold an NFT. There are also known lists of whale addresses that you can compare with these to see who else is invested into a project. Next, we're gonna dive in and I'll show you through a few block explorers. Okay, so here we are on SoulScan. First, I'm going to review a transaction, so I'll need the transaction hash, which is this long string of letters and numbers. Each transaction, block, token, or smart contract has a unique one of these. Next, I wanna look at Etherscan, but here I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to look at a wallet. So I'll enter the wallet's public address. Now I could enter the full public key, but many people buy what's known as a .eth address. Basically, this just creates an easy to remember short address that links you straight through. We're gonna use Vitalik.eth, which is Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum's address. First, I have to click on the resolve address to see where the real data is. Now this is gonna pull up a list of everything related to this wallet. Here are all the different tokens and NFTs that are in this wallet. I can look at the balance, history of transactions, and since everything is linked, I can dive deeper on any one of these. Say for example, I'm interested in this token called Looping Coin. I can simply click on it and look at all the data on that token. I can see who's buying it, who's selling it, how much and when. The open nature of the blockchain makes all this data accessible to anyone. Now many of these tokens in his wallet are small or unknown. This is because people airdrop him tokens all the time just for publicity. In fact, he was famously airdropped almost half of all Shiba Inu tokens, 10% worth about $1.2 billion he gave to an India COVID relief fund, and the other 90% worth about $6.7 billion he burned and destroyed forever. If you don't know, airdrops are a system by which you can get 100% free crypto. Often it's given out for trying an app or sharing some social media posts. 
I have a full class on this at getmyfreecrypto.com. Now, normally it's $97, but I'm giving it away for free right now. Just go to getmyfreecrypto.com. Along with the standard ERC-20 tokens, here are ERC-721s, which are NFTs, and 1155s, which are a hybrid NFT. Now, Bitcoin has a very similar scanner at blockchain.com. This one won't list things like tokens or NFTs because you need smart contracts to create those. And Bitcoin doesn't have smart contracts. But you can see the movement of Bitcoin in and out of each wallet, how much is moved around and when it happens. Polygon is a scaling solution for Ethereum. So their block explorer is gonna look very similar to Etherscan. And this time, we're gonna look into some of the analytics. This is one source to help you determine the health of a token whether it has investment potential or it looks like some shady rug pull. If you want a full breakdown on how I look for investable new projects, click on the link above. I have a full video on this. For a quick overview, here's a project called Mass Finance. As you can see, over 80% of the tokens are owned by one wallet. The transfers of this token are very uncommon. Clearly, this is not an investable token. Now, here's another one. It's called Orion Cash. Also a new token, still very heavily concentrated, but not as bad. It's got much more trading volume, so this one at least has potential. You could also see very similar information for NFT projects. Here's the Phantom Galaxy's origin collection. The Block Explorer lists the transfers, the holders, the addresses of the holders, all the basic information about this token. Now lastly, one of the more ninja things you can do with the Block Explorer is to directly interact with a smart contract. Most Web3 projects have created decentralized applications. These allow you to interact with a smart contract using a standard Chrome or Safari browser. But you can also go directly to the contract using a block explorer. There you can read data from the contract, like the cost of an NFT, the maximum amount you can mint at one time, or the total supply in that contract. And you can actually write to that contract or mint an NFT directly. This is an NFT project I created for a training course. So I'll go to the right side of the contract and enter the mint price of one Matic and the quantity of one. Then I'll say high gas fee because otherwise Matic is super slow. Uh, and there you go. The transaction is processing and I just minted one NFT directly from a smart contract. So why would you wanna do this? Often when a popular NFT opens its minting up, the website gets swamped with traffic. This trick can allow you to mint an NFT without having to access the website. Finally, you can get some good overall information about what's going on with a blockchain in most explorers. I'll show you that in just a second, but before I do, I wanna recommend that you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be going deep into lots of blockchain training and explaining how to use Web3 and how to invest in profit from the growth of this space. Hitting that button is gonna make sure that you get these trainings to show up in your feed. And since you made it this far, you clearly learned something. So in exchange for that, I'd greatly appreciate you tapping on that like button. Okay, so here we are back on Etherscan. And there are some great lists up here under resources. Top gas users, meaning what projects are the busiest. Top tokens. Also some usage over time statistics. This is a good way to look at the overall health of a blockchain and see if it's growing or dying. Plus you can look at individual sites and see if they're growing or dying. If there's any specific block explorer features or tricks that you were hoping to learn and I didn't mention, please put them in the comments down below and I'll be glad to do a deeper dive on it. Many of these new developments on the blockchain from decentralized finance to tokenization and NFTs all come because of smart contracts. They are the number one most valuable feature of a new blockchain, but they're sometimes a complete mess and can lead to massive hacks. You really need a good understanding of smart contracts to do anything in this space. And the best way to get that is by clicking here.